what is up guys how's it going before we get into this be prepared for me to pronounce all your guys' names wrong <laughs> I'm sure I'll get most of them or maybe about 60% but yeah today's a Q&A so let's just get right into it I have all the questions on my phone Okay, Timmy Rother asks, what is your favorite brand of quad or dirt bike? Um, probably, I mean, I've only really ro rode Kawasaki's, like, at least for racing, like my KX125 and then my 450, KFX 450. They're both uh, Kawasaki's, but this is a Yamaha. This thing's awesome. Honda's awesome as well. Um, it's really hard to pick a favorite I mean I'm sure I'd steer away from some brands but overall a lot of companies have really good durability but if I had to pick I'd probably go with my green machines okay that two-stroke guy will you ever do a fan meetup and can you give my shot channel a shout out there you go shout out to you um I plan on it uh, I know probably in the winter I might do one if you guys snowboard if any of you guys snowboard or ski I ride out at Granite Peak all the time so I might do a meetup out there but if not then for sure in the future sometime I have no idea when but I definitely plan on it I know I tried to meet some some of you guys before or one of you guys last year but it didn't work out I think he left a comment. What is that? That's a tree that got ripped up. Okay, I got this question from a couple people. I think some of these are repeats. Um, but Beer30 sent in. Go check his channel out too. He's a real funny guy. Um, <laughs> uh, he sent in, how much land do you own? I forgot the second part because I'm terrible. Or how much land do you have? and do you farm it um I have about 80 acres about it's, uh, it's probably 80 I think it's 80 yeah um my family's had it for a long time probably 20 some years now so I've grown up with this I'm extremely lucky to have this I mean ever since I was little coming up here definitely changed my life in many ways I mean I couldn't even imagine the person I'd be if I didn't grow up here and do we farm it um we ooh here's a hole surprise surprise um we don't farm it I mean we rent the field out which is about 35 acres uh, to like local farmers or a farmer and then he'll plant it for us so that's that's about all the farming we do I get a lot of questions about the barn we have we don't really use it anymore or we never we just store some stuff in there but like the silo we don't use the silo or anything like that it's just nice to look at oh, Kyle Boehner asked what kind of snowboard do you ride or what is your favorite band of snowboard? Um, and then he's asking for meetups, which I already went over that. Um, I currently ride a Libtech Skate Banana with, I forgot the bindings, uh, Shaka, Shanka bindings. I don't think they make them anymore. I don't even think they're a company. But I ride a Skate Banana. I really like it. I kind of need a new one though. Mine's starting to get a little beat up and I think it's the, the pops kind of going on it. Um, oh, that finally fell over. Huh. Yeah, but I've probably rode that board for about four years now or so. It's a really nice board. I basically learned everything from front flips to cork. 720s on it. I mean, in backflips, it's a good board if you want to learn stuff. I mean, partly it's you, but the board definitely helps. 
Turtle on Wheels asks, will you ever get a sport bike? I really want a sport bike. Um, a lot of my friends back home, they, uh, at least a good handful of them, I know one of my friends has a DRZ, and then my, another one of my friends has a Jixer, and then I think someone else just got a Jixer that I know, and he also has a Harley. Um, and then I know someone else that has another crotch rocket, I can't remember what it is. And then a few more people. But yeah, I would definitely want like a DRZ or some type of street bike. I wouldn't want a Harley or anything like that. More like Enduro or I don't think I'd want a crotch rocket either. But I don't know, it's hard to say. But I would definitely want one, I would just have to look around once. I get the cash flow going a little bit more. <laughs> it's already hard enough to stay up with all my toys that I have. Ugh. So, this, oh, this is a good question. Do you remember what the pain was like and how it felt when you crashed? Yes. I do remember because I was there. <laughs> that day when I crashed, as soon as I left the lip, I knew I was coming up short. Um, I just misjudged the speed because when I was doubling it, it it's kind of hard to tell in the video. It's not much of a hill that it's on, but it's definitely kind of like a step down. I mean, once you go that far, it's kind of on a hill. So the land, it was it's pretty easy to double it. So I was like, ah, oh, maybe the top of second gear, but that didn't work. <laughs> um, but as soon as I hit, it was like taking two shotguns to each one of my ears and pulling the trigger right next to it. Um, my ears didn't stop ringing for the next two days. And I still have a headache, kind of, to this day. I don't think it went away fully. Um, but... At first, once I fell off and got my bearings, once I got up and tried to move my jaw, it was pushed back and in. And like, if you close your mouth all the way, like you can't fit your tongue through it obviously, but even with my mouth completely closed, I could fit my tongue completely like through my teeth, no problem. Um, and then that, that's when I was like, oh yeah, this isn't good. And then went to the hospital. Um, it honestly didn't really hurt that bad. I mean, it definitely hurt. But on the way to the hospital, that's when it started kicking in. Um, but because it was like a 35 minute drive to the ER. And then once I got there, it it hurt pretty bad. Especially once I got out of surgery. Ooh. My lip was so swollen, it was like blistered. And then along with, I also cut my chin when I hit the handlebars. Uh, that got about 10 stitches in it. And I have a picture of it. I, I might put it on Instagram in a little bit. I don't know. Tell me if you want to see it. I don't want to get flagged because it's pretty gruesome. But it was about probably like an inch or an inch and a half deep. The gash underneath. It was like a second mouth under my chin. But yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say about 8 pain-wise. Gaming Links asks, where do I live? Um, and what's my first experience slash memory with any moto related vehicle? Um, so I live in Wisconsin, like northern-ish Wisconsin. Kind of central, I don't know. Um, somewhere in there. That's the best I could put it. But uh, my first experience or memory, I'd probably say 
one of my very first memories was the first ATV I ever rode was a Kawasaki Bayou 250. And I was probably like four or five. And I remember I was so excited that I got to ride it. I was like, there was a couple people up here, maybe like some of my dad's friends. And I was getting cocky and I was trying to show off. So I was like watching everyone look at me. And then when I was doing that, I ended up running into the back of my dad's uh, truck. <laughs> and I wasn't going very fast, maybe only like five miles per hour or so. But I ended up running into the back of his truck and bent the license plate up and scratched the bumper a little bit. But yeah, I'd probably say that was the first, one of the very first memories I have of anything moto related. Spasma! Doggies! Doggies, hi! Why? Spaz! Whee! But alright guys, I wonder if I can two-wheel this thing. Oh, there we go. Two wheels. Two wheels. I'm on two wheels. <laughs> With a broken jaw. Nah, that's almost better. Oh, okay, yeah. But alright guys, I think I'm going to cut it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to all of you who sent in those questions. If this is your first time watching my videos, please subscribe. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. At least I try and hit one of those days. But I will catch you guys on Tuesday. Peace out. Bop, 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 bop.